What's up, YouTube? We're here with some Weekend League. This was my first game on Saturday night, the first weekend of Weekend League. At this point, I believe I was 18-1. I did lose a game. I was frustrated I lost the game. If you want to watch some of these Weekend League games live and some butt games and salary cap games, my Twitch link is in the description below. Make sure you hit that to check out some games live. Anything you see on these on these videos, whether offense, defense, special teams, it will be a man turf. That link also is below, so make sure you check that out. But this is one of the crazy games I dealt with. Weekend League's always wild, always a good time. And this, especially when you get down deep into the 25 games, when your record's good, they start matching you up with good people. We can say what we want about EA and complain about things, but the matchmaking they've had the last couple of years has been spot on. So at first first possession, this guy comes out and does close. So we haven't seen too much of this year. I feel like it's the run is a lot worse now. But this guy was committed to the run. He was going to pound the rock. First play, he runs this play with the little running back delay route or running back fake play action and run to the flat route. Pretty much be ready for that most of the time. There go Melvin Ingram with a, with a big shed there. He hits me. Tries to hit me with um, the fake screen play, obviously. Almost worked on me, but he allowed the ball up. So we'll be ready for that later. Stop him on the first drive. We get the ball easy. Seems like his offense is terrible. He's not going to move the ball on me. I'm a superior defensive player. We're going to get a couple stops here. But here he starts screaming at me. I'm actually in the Jets playbook in this game. I get to the second tank. Doesn't scream at me. Chuck underneath Vernon Davis. Gets some yards. He started running a lot of just cover one blitz. And it took me a while to really figure out what offense I wanted to run against it. There we go. We're able to hit. A little double move to tight end over the route or over the middle. So here's go screaming at me. I really wasn't comfortable at first. It took me a drive or two to really get comfortable with this uh, man coverage zero blitz. Here we go hitting Odell underneath. We get to a third down. Here we go getting blitz on a lot of people. We go for a curl for Randy Moss. He's able to actually catch it over Rod Woodson. Catches the curl. So we're moving the ball pretty good. Here we go, throwing the flat to Gurley, swats it out. We ran a little split close here. Split close slowly became one of my more effective things that I ran. Here we go, trying to hit a wheel route, and his claw flat makes a huge diving pick. Rod Woodson, great play by Rod Woodson there. Here we go, Saquon Barkley, just, I mean, he doesn't care about my defense. With no disregard for my defense, as you can see in the camera, I was actually on the phone pretty much the whole first half of this game with, with the mic muted talking on the phone, and I'm getting frustrated. You know, you want to tell her you got to go, like, listen, I got to go and play in the game. Like, but sometimes I don't understand. You know, I'm playing the game, I got to go. And I don't don't think this guy's that good, so I'm really not worried about it yet. So I'm just going to keep talking on the phone, finish this game out. Here we go, hitting Shady McCoy. Like I said, when they play this man coverage, you got to make sure they guard the running back because if not, it gives them an extra person putting the coverage. Here we go, we ran four verticals here, which I realized was a terrible call against man coverage. It's cover one. I got to find a way. Maybe the slot. Here we go. This is what I finally found out. This is the key. The slot fade to Tyreek Hill. The, the, the uh, cover one zone in the middle will not cover that. And, and the man coverage, there's not anybody, especially a safety, that's going to run with Tyreek Hill. That's why you have him. I mean, he can't spin. He's not the best person to catch the ball in traffic. But he has 92 speed. And there's nobody out there fast enough to keep up with him. So he goes trying to get the ball to Saquon Barkley, trying to bust another lucky run, just getting the ball, hitting the spin. It's just, I feel like the run is so luck dependent on what's going to happen. Here he goes, hits a nice little dot down on the flat to Delaney Walker. It's just when you run the ball, you just pray that you get the right blocks, and here he goes, boom, wham. Cam Chancellor ran down to the left, and you have Cam back there because he kills people, but he's not the one that's going to catch anybody, so another run to the crib. So he's ran by about 10 times. Eight of them have been nothing and two of them have gone to the crib. That's why people stick to the ground game. Big day he was able to get those get those runs, especially because I don't think he's a good offensive guy, so you can't give him too many. Harry starts screaming at me. I start going to the play action. I should have stayed. I don't know why I learned what was popping on last drive with the fade. With I'm now I'm getting screamed at. Still on the phone, still talking. Able to hit back on here. He comes up with a huge catch for me. Boom. Get to a fourth down. I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. And once again, we get screamed at. I went with the fade. I had it again. Just not enough pressure on him. He's getting so much pressure on me right now. Tough turn over there, but I'm going to call my timeouts. Try to get the ball back. Try to make something happen before half. And here you see again, man, that's actually Le'Veon Bell. So he had Le'Veon Bell and the Barkley just really getting after it. Sent us by here. He chucks off his back foot to his running back curl. Ah, oh, man, it can't be complete. But he takes his three. He doesn't go four or fourth inches. That's good. But here we go. Underneath, like I said, make them guard the running back. So he's probably using the guy guarding the running back. Hit the wheel route, get out of bounds. 
And you know what we're gonna do? Tyreek Hill is just gonna take the top off again. The fade, break tackle, break tackle, boom, tutty. Let's go, huge, huge play. I mean, go ahead and get that touchdown before the half. I was down 10, but now I'm only down three. I get the ball, I, like I said, I feel fine. I feel like dude, this guy's not gonna keep breaking runs, luckily. He's trying here with, with one timeout. He goes, as I'm running. There goes Saquon Barkley just carrying people. That's Le'Veon Bell. I mean, when you've got two workhorse running backs, you can go from Barkley to Le'Veon Bell. I mean, I don't know. I, I swear I spent a lot of money on my team. I don't know why they're not making plays. Able to make a tackle there. He ran a little wham. Maybe those underneath. Gets out of bounds. He doesn't have any time in the six seconds. He tries to fake screen wheel me again. Once you do it once, I'm just never going to happen to me again. Ramsey will get. And Tyre. Ooh. Almost where they almost fumbled and allowed his teammates to pick it up and advance it because I think they can advance it in the first half under two minutes. Maybe, maybe not, but if someone could have came and took the ball there and, and scored, I believe. We're going to get the ball coming out the half. Trying to go up top again to Tyreek Hill. Mmm, Vic throws that one just a little bit out of bounds. Coming at the bridge, but we'll go ahead. Throw this one over here. It's an old Delph Beckham. Sean Taylor can't cover him. He made a switch to put Sean Taylor in the man coverage assignment. A little bit faster, but still not going to be able to cover Odell. Here we go, hit Vernon Davis. This is why we like Vernon Davis. All the speed out of the backfield. Try to run somebody over, get a couple extra yards. Get to the six yard line. Try to throw a high ball and don't hit high ball. And I throw it right at Sean Taylor. That's killer. Here you go. Take the ball back, buddy. Go back. Bring the struggle offense back out here. There we go, Adrian Amos. So I have it. Linebacker making a play there. Who's that? Melvin Ingram again and Clowney. Just can't run. Here goes, boom. Picked off. Make him pass. Third and 13. He throws the ball right in my face. So, like I said, I'm not worried about this game. I'm actually off the phone now. So, I got to get this win here. You know, Vernon Davis fighting. Once I see a strip animation, I don't like that. And I'll probably go put it on conservative after that. Here goes try to throw the curl to Odell. He drops it. Oh, man. Tough catch. Guy right behind him. We're going to curl. Vic throws it into the ground. Got a fourth and one. We're going to go for it. We come out here, we hold our water, hold our water. He only rushes two. Stay in the pocket. Look like contains. We're getting double teams. Good job. And you know what I do? I find somebody. I'm going to find somebody if you give me all day like that. Beautiful pass. Beautiful play to stay in the pocket like that. They go ahead and take the lead. A little questionable going for that, actually. But I felt like, you know what? I'm going to get the ball back. I'm going to get some stops. So even if I don't get it, I'll be all right. But, you know, I'm playing weekend league. I'm playing weekend league, and this is what happens. You know, you give up two busted runs. And then you know what? Let's just throw a kickoff in for good measure. You know, why not? Let's make W struggle. Let's make them fight because this is, this is what they want to watch. They want to watch the fight. And that's why EA does it for you guys, man. Kick return. Here we go. We're going to go up top again. Another fade. This is a different fade, but Tyree gets the one step. Breaks the tackles into the end zone. Let's get it. Tyreek Hill, like I said, he has no answer for the Tyreek Hill speed. Trying to play cover one is just not the, not the move against Tyreek Hill. So we get the lead right back. Got to cover this kick. Can't let him return another one, can we? Oh, no. Nah, we got him. We got him that time. Let's stop the run. There you go, Fletcher Cox. Big Cox making tackles. There we go again. I don't know what happened there. Ramsey hit sticking. I could use a fumble too. That would be nice. Here we go. This is his pass play. A little fake, fake run back thing, and oh, it's just bad. Can we get a strip? Oh, just stop the run. That's pretty much all we gotta do. Sean Taylor cracking him. I'm up four points. I feel like he's not gonna run it in the end zone. Here we go again. This is his play. Play action. Cover the flat. Cover the running back with hard flats. Cover the crossing route yourself. I don't know what's gonna be open. We're going to get another hit stick. We're touching Saquon Barkley and Le'Veon Bell. We need some more hits on him. This time he gets a little crease. Boom! Sean Taylor comes, knocks his chin strap off. Lead a fumble. Goes to a fourth and two. He no huddles. I switched to a little man coverage. Boom! Man. All he does is go ahead and quick snap stretch, which is kind of a good call. If I could have got a shed there, Cam Chancellor could have knocked him back. But Cam didn't knock him back. He got an extra yard. Here he is running against, shifting through the lines there with Saquon Barkley, the rookie premier. Once again, he seals the edge again on the stretch. Hit stick again by Cam Chancellor. Now the clock's coming a little bit of a factor. But now Saquon Barkley just carried Fletcher Cox all the way into the end zone. Jeez. I mean, Barkley and Bell are killing me. The killer bees, they are killing my life this game. So now I'm down three. We got 40 seconds. Left. That's plenty of time. I got three timeouts. Get the ball. 44 seconds on the 20-yard line. Three timeouts. You should get some points. Here we go. I run a little wheel route to the running back. LaShawn McCoy. Toe tap LaShawn. 
Big play in the first play of a drive like this. I'm going to run a similar play. Throw it over here to Tyreek Hill. Doesn't catch it. It was a little bit in traffic. Not too worried about that. He starts bringing a crib at me. Throw it over the top. Bam. Randy Moss just got cracked by Sean Taylor right there. Wish he would have held on to that. Here we go. Hit the wheel rod again. Oof. I don't know how he got juked and then came back and still stripped me. But we got the we go out the blah blah. We got the ball game tied already. Let's go down here, get inside the ten. Maybe we can go ahead and get a high ball or we can get a low ball, something. Here we go. I go for the low ball, but I throw it high by accident because you know I had a long week. Should have been a pick, but we survived. Try to throw a high to Moss. He overthrows it. Six seconds left. The time for one more play, and I flirt with death here. Finally throw the ball away at the right time. Glad the time didn't tick off there and go ahead and take my field goal, tie the game up. Win the toss in overtime. Boom. So we're able to go ahead. Let's go down here and get a touchdown. That's pretty much the goal. We hit the drag over here to Odell Beckham. Can't give up. No sacks, no nothing. I'm getting way more comfortable than I was early in the game. Playmaker there to Randy Moss. It's looking easier. Getting a lot more pass protection. Over the middle, we hit Beckham again. On a nice little drag, get up the field, get a couple yards. Once again, oh, that time we thread the needle of the corner out, almost stay in bounds with Tyreek Hill. We're really moving the ball well right now. We're feeling the groove. Try to go top and almost throw a book. Thought that yellow zone I could throw over his head, but I wasn't able to. Here we come back now, throw another curl route to Moss. We got third and one. Run the ball with Ty Gurley. We're going to punch this in and end the game. We have to punch the game, punch it in and end the game. Gurley gets boxed that time. We get to a second and goal. Here we go. He runs a little man. We're going to throw this drag to Tyreek Hill and walk in the end zone right now. Nah, but Tyreek Hill wants to moonwalk. I don't know what happened. He just decided to moonwalk. Get my power up blown up. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and kick this guy. I mean, I'm not playing a superstar right now. I'm going to get a stop. I'm going to force him. I'm going to stop the run. He's not going to bust any lucky runs. Hopefully, we can cover the kickoff and we do that. Boom. All we got to do is get off the field now, boys. First play to get, first run of the drive. Boom, Fletcher Cox in there. Clowney in there. Second run of the game, Fletcher Cox again. Amos over there fighting too. He got a couple yards. Third and six, he runs again. Oh my, third and six, we're getting runs. And he fights and fights for a first down. Saquon Barkley's just a, a dog right now. Here we go again. Uh, Bobby Wagner with a tackle right there. If I get a loss of yards, here he goes with this play that hasn't worked all game, but he continues to run it. Send the spy. He's got nothing. Do we get a sack? No. What do you call that? Incomplete. Frustrating. That can't be incomplete. Runs the draw there. Cam, bam. Kills him. He's going to go ahead and no huddle. And like I said, early in the game, he showed me that he's going to run a fake screen. So I'm going to go ahead and do my adjustments to stop that. That's not going to be an option. So I pretty much just got to worry about the drag over the middle. He goes fake screen. Nobody bites on his. This running back route. I cover it. Send the spies. Amos. And he's going to catch it. Ah, no. Cam Chancellor bags it. Get off my field, man. Obviously, he ran the fake screen early in the game. That was the third time he ran it. He went to it in the clutch. I had the right defense for it. If you didn't know the defense, you go ahead and check below. That's the la the video previous to this one was actually the how to stop the fake wide receiver screen. So, that's what I did. It was a good game. It shouldn't have been that close. Giving up long runs. Giving up kick returns. Turning the ball over. Doing stupid stuff. That will get you in trouble in weekend league, and that's what happened. We passed for 513 yards and four touchdowns and had to win the game in overtime. Le'Veon Bell and Saquon Barkley really killed me. Please hit the like button. Please hit the comment. Let me know what you would have did differently. Let me know what you want to see next. All right, y'all. Dude!